Hey guys, welcome to another figure review. We're doing another figure I'm really happy to get. It is Bloodsport. It's the Unmac version, one of the preferred the Mac version. The different one was on sale, but clearance, I had to pick it up if I picked it up. I prefer, like I said, the Mac version, but I'll take the Unmac version, so at least, because I want it also for the Builder figure. If you like the Cable as well, I can always get the Builder figure, or I can just find the head online and just fire that and flop it. But either way, this is cool. You get pieces to King Shark, but I have all the figures. I have Pokemon Man and Peacemaker, so all I need now is Holly Quinn. Then I have the complete Builder figure, so that's cool. But see, yeah, I know it's the most expensive one I think out of the line. It makes sense, but yeah, I'm excited to open this, so let's not for a deal. Jump into it. Okay, next we got the DC stand here. DC Comics here. A stand, pretty basic. And then this one, we got card. This is for Bloodshot. This is the unmaxed version. I don't mind the unmaxed version, but I would have preferred the regular version. But I could always probably just look online, see if I can just get the head and probably just switch it. I believe that's the only thing maybe different. Really happy to get this, uh, because I guess more pieces to King Shark. I want to complete this line. So yeah, this is cool. Bloodshot unmaxed from Suicide Squad film. 2021. I'll be playing this movie, so yeah, you get the card. They only come with two uh, extra items for the character. Or these two swords. These are his two swords he has in the movie. That looks cool. You know, nice blades with a uh, gold handle thing. Look cool. I'm excited to put these in the figure. But we're gonna look at the figure first because the builder figure is a big thing. I mean, a lot of pieces to, to put together. So let's look at the actual figure first of Bloodshot. First, you got the head. It looks decent. I would not say. Look at the card here. Cause we can use the card as an example of looking at it. Looks pretty decent. Looks not. Uh, I wouldn't say 100%, but it looks pretty decent like yeah it looks like Idris Elba like it definitely looked pretty good looks like Idris Elba the head is all the hair and everything looks nice it looked decent like decent point not the best printing but I think it's not bad and then we have his design his costume was just a big like kind of like suit like a military suit but has like these orange shoulder pads here on the side these things on his hands I don't know if they're like gauntlets or what are they called things that he has on his arms his hands his fingerless gloves but I don't know why the fingerless cool and we have all this here on the side all these designs it looks like a big like suit or thing if you look at this it looks like a big like like almost like a um bulletproof vest kind of thing with more electronics and stuff to it looks cool and we have these the belt here looks nice orange i like all the orange and the dark bluish color and we see on the side here we have this here like this this pattern looks cool and then these pads down here knee pads of really low knee pads and then we have the boots look really nice and then on the back we have the rest of the belt here it has whatever that is another thing there and this thing here what i don't know what that that looks like it could be dynamite or something i don't know what that is but it looks cool looks cool nice he looks nice he looks like Perry kind of supposed to. I think he looks decent. He's a cool figure. So I had to add him to the collection. I like DC Multiverse and I love the Suicide Squad movie. So, really nice figure. So let's jump on to the actual Builder figure and take a look at that because we actually got to build it. So this Builder figure came with two pieces. This is the body. You can see uh, it comes apart. It came in two pieces. You just bob them together. I could take them apart, but I'm not going to because I already put them together and I don't want to take it apart. But I did do that beforehand. I've been like, oh, they just put together. I'm just going to put them together. So you get this body. That's what you get for this piece. It was a good size piece to get. But now now we have all the other pieces, so we're gonna put them together. Starting with this, there's like a part that goes on the bottom of the figure, like this. Yeah, you just gotta figure out how it goes on. I'm gonna put the head on, since that's not doing cooperating as much. There we are. This is what it looks like with the head on, not too bad. But the body thing's giving me trouble, so we might have to do that separately or get down somebody to help me with that. For some reason, it doesn't want to just go. There we go. Got the body on. I had to really push it on, but I got it on. Yeah, it looks cool. Now you get these arms on. You gotta figure out which one goes on which. This one goes on this arm. This one goes on this arm. Interesting. Boom. It goes in. You wanna make sure it's like in, in. You know what I mean? And then we take this arm. It goes in. And how far do you can go down? Like that. Yeah. We got King Chuck here. Looking nice. Looking spiffy. Missing the pants. And he let's take a look and actually review this thing. What we got so far. So the mouth does open up. You can open and close it. Looks really cool. Has all the details, the nose, uh, stuff. Low eyes big fin on the back uh, the body i thought was interesting because it's kind of like it feels very different like this has a very everything else has a different texture to the body body here it's a lot more plasticky and this feels like a little more like i wouldn't say rubber but you know what i mean it has that like a i don't know what the feel of it is but it feels different like this is plastic this is like a it's like a not rubbery but like you know you know you, you have to fig, open figure for you know what i mean there's the hands big hands have the fists like hands looking nice decent move points of articulation the arms don't just come off this actually once this i got this together it feels like it's not going to come apart so that's kind of nice so all i need to do is get the legs for this now this one i probably will put out somewhere on the top for some while because it's enough complete where I feel like I don't want to just throw in the bag. So I need to get the Holly Quinn based series kind of expensive. So the worst case is I can always try and find just the legs and just buy them and then complete the builder figure. That might be the option to do. So yeah, we'll see if I complete this. I would like would like to get the Holly Quinn, but I know the Holly Quinn is expensive, so we'll see. What you guys think of this video of this and the bloodshot figure? Let me know in the comments down below. You can always step see the next video, guys. Bye.